Supercross Live on supercrossonline.com. Track walk time. Kevin Barnett here with motorsport.com. Ty Lubes, Nick Way. Nick, welcome back. First of all, how are you feeling? Yeah, pretty good. Still a little bit sore, but I'm excited to be back here at the races. And, uh, you know, I rode this last week, so, you know, obviously I'm not uh, at 100%, but I'm excited to get back out here. And this is always, it was an awesome track back when we used to come here. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it looks great tonight. You know, big stadium floor, a lot of clay. The track's not going to break down very much, so it should be uh, pretty tricky. Yeah, it seems like this is a track that would stay put and be kind of the same all day. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, the it's basically pure clay. I mean, you can see that they, you know, kind of had a hard time working it to, like, make it as smooth as they normally would. But, uh, you know, for the night show, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be great. And, and I, like I said, the whoops are going to hold up good and, you know, hopefully have a big crowd. You like this kind of dirt. What do you think about some of the features? Is there a type of track you come out and you walk and you look at it and go, this is my kind of track? Yeah, I mean, I typically like the more technical tracks, the tracks that have like a long set of whoops that aren't going to get broke down, that have a, you know, a rut through them all the way. But uh, I think this is going to be one like that, and especially with the, I think the track with a bigger layout is going to have a longer lap time, and that plays into my favor too. So, like I said, I'm uh, excited to get back out here and uh, try to get my, my uh, motorsport.com, Ty Lube Foremost Insurance, Kawasaki, toward the front. Okay, this season there's been a lot of injuries, you included with a bunch of other guys. Do you think this season has been more injury prone than other years, or is it just happened to go with territory? I think uh, this year, I mean, obviously there's a lot of uh, the top guys, the winners from the past season that were, have been injured, but, you know, uh, kind of goes with the territory. You know, it's, you know, everyone's pushing to try to be better, and, you know, I have a lot of respect for that, and that's what happens when you, when you push. I mean, it's easy to ride around out here for, for us at this level and, and be safe, but when you're, you know, really giving it 100%, that's when uh, things go wrong. So I guess it's a testament to the determination of all the riders out here really going for it. So got a lot of respect for that. All right, I know you've got stuff to go on with your uh, Michigan Mafia and putting out a bunch of merchandise. How is that side of the business going? Yeah, it's actually a Mafia Moto Crew, and that's uh, it's going pretty well. Just started to uh, get some sales through the Tucker Rocky dealers and then also on motorsport.com's website. So excited about that, and it's something I'm having fun with and kind of representing the, the crew that I that I grew up looking looking up to. And um, it's uh, you can check it out at uh, motomafiacrew.com. You've been at this a very long time racing, and now you're looking at the, the transition perhaps to real life, at least making that, that, that planning, that planning stage is going on now. Talk about being in that stage where you're still racing, wanting to race full time, but at the same time looking down the road and going, this can't last forever. Well, I mean, as far as being real life, I mean, this is kind of like what I spent my whole life doing, so exa you're exactly right. I mean, but uh, I think it's a good opportunity for me to kind of, uh, you know, get a brand going that, you know, I have so much respect for the guys that, you know, that I grew up looking, looking up to and uh, kind of re representing them at the same time while I'm out here. So I'm excited to, to get that going and also, you know, just working 110% at, at being the best motocross, supercross rider that I can be. What are your expectations for this week coming off injury? You said you're not quite 100%. No, I just definitely want to get out here and uh, feel things out a little bit, but I think it's definitely realistic to try to uh, be top 10 and try to push to be top 5. You know, I've been feeling pretty good at the track, and and like I said, I think this track should be good for me with the long lap times, and uh, should be, I'm looking forward to it.